guys, welcome back to another video. And before I start the video, I like to give credits to, I mean, no, all of the credits to Direct Weather for just basically doing these slides. And so I have no ownership in this. This is just what I think. So we are going to first do the, some snowfall. So that means for like Cleveland or like Bangor, like Maine and and like north of uh basically New York and some of Michigan, so New York, Vermont, yeah, those states up there. Basically everything up there. So that means that so that's the track of the storm. So that means that there's just going to be a little bit of snowfall. So th that means like one to four inches of snow, three, four inches of snow in total. So, yeah. We are now on to most snowfall, which most of the snowfall is going to happen there. So probably about 10, not 10, 6, 10 six eight inches of snow um total it's like cities like albany buffalo new york portland so yeah so most of the snowfall is going to be very heavy snow and it's not going to be very safe and it's just going to cause a lot of mess in the road and especially if it's like a school day since it's happening on 16th to 18th. So, yeah. And so we have most snowfall and parts of New York, Vermont, Maine. Uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, no, in Massachusetts. And the last slide is mix messed Me mix mess now i warn you this is a mess this will be a lot to handle there might be sleet hail snow heavy rain heavy snow and it's just gonna be um just basically all those things in that area like Philadelphia, New York City, Boston, Sacreton, Pittsburgh, Harrisburg, Reading, PA, Queens, New York, yeah, so on. So, yeah, in Rhode Island. So, that is just going to be very bad, especially if most people, since a lot of people live in that area. Of So... If anyone is in the mixed mess area and the most snowfall area, if anyone's in any of these are areas to be exact, you guys should make sure you guys stay, stay safe. And yeah, so now we are going to go on total snowfall. So guys, we are now on the total snow. This is the end of the day on 16th. Obviously, in Philly, about one, two inches of snow. Some areas, like five inches in West Virginia, Maryland, and Delaware, and Ohio has about four inches total. In Pennsylvania, four also. New York has about seven inches total. And, yeah, so the next day, this is how much it's going to snow. New York has now about... 11 inches of snow total and you can see that snow just starting to fall really hard in the northeast obviously delaware also gets some snow that day in pennsylvania that day also gets about uh two three four inches again total and that's the end. So this is the 17th. And then this is the 18th. Pennsylvania has about 5 inches of snow. West Virginia has 7 inches of snow total. New York has 13 inches of snow total. In some parts, 
So obviously it's starting to snow in Queens. But basically Queens doesn't get any snow. Barely gets any snow. So yeah guys, so we see Michigan just having snow too. And so yeah, we're going to look at the models now. So So this is right now and as we go on to the 16th, it is possibly going to snow. Obviously the lighter shades only show half an inch and just snowy mix. Like direct weather said. So obviously just the rainy max mix. So I could easily tell which which part of Philly is going to get snow. No North Philadelphia is going to get the rainy mix ice and snow and rain and south philly is going to get just rain so i could already tell west philly half of it is going to get same thing north philly and west philly north philly and south philly and for the rest of it most cities are split between snow like for example this one right there so as we go on to the models later we can see so, like Direct Weather said in their video, most of the snow is going to go up here, and some snow is just up down there. So, so this is the 18th. No snow. I mean, no. Just a lot of snow. Obviously, snow is really hard around here. And yeah, guys, this is the end to the video. Hopefully, you guys subscribe, turn on post notifications, and leave a like. And goodbye.